Well, hello there. This is Dana Williams with BlogYourWayToWealth.com, and today I wanted to do a video to help you see how fun and easy it is to create a web form with AWeber. Now, if you don't already use AWeber for your autoresponder, then go ahead and click on the link at the bottom of this video where you can sign up for AWeber. I think it's only a dollar a month. Um, for the first month and then $19 after that. So if you are serious about internet marketing, um, you're definitely going to need an autoresponder and AWeber is number one in the industry. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into your AWeber account and then go to web forms. Once that comes up, you're going to click on create a new web form. Okay, now web forms are great because they allow you to capture information from your subscribers for many different reasons. Maybe you have a newsletter that you want to get sub uh, people subscribed to, or maybe you're having a, sp uh, a special um, you know, promotion that you want people to opt into, and so when they opt in, they're going to come into your autoresponder where you'll be able to email them, and also you'll be able to give them something, maybe as an added bonus, okay? So for the sake of this example, let's go with um, we are having a online uh, book club, and we want them to subscribe to our online book club, okay? So what you're going to want to do is just choose a template, all right? Let's see. Since I'm doing something about books, let's see, maybe recreation. Let's see if maybe they have a template that has books on it. Bookshelf. Okay, this is good. All right, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and load this template up. And you can change the colors and all that. Um, if you choose to do that, but just for time purposes, I'm just going to choose this template exactly how it's here. And um, oh, I love that! Look at that little book for the submit button. I love reading, so I'm kind of a, a, a nerd when it comes to that. All right, the first thing I want to show you is what you're going to want to do is edit your header. Tell people what they're opting into. Okay, so I might say something like, "Sign up for our online book club and receive." an autographed copy of my latest book. Okay, that's a great incentive there. <laughs> All right, this is just for uh, information purposes. So, and you can format this however you like. If you want to center it, if you want to change the color, the font, you can do all of that. You'll notice that this is a lot of text, so I need to change the font size if it's all going to show up on my little header here okay and don't worry how small that is We're, we'll change it in a second but I just really wanted to show you that you want to definitely let your prospects know what they're getting and let's go ahead and bold sign up we can make this a little bit bigger okay there we go alright so this is what they're gonna see when they opt into this form okay the next thing that you're going to want to do is add some more fields if you choose to. Now, maybe you only want to collect their name and their email, and if so, that's fine. But what I also like to ask is how they heard about us. It's a great way to kind of streamline your marketing efforts. And I've already created this field here. Now, on your AWeber, you're not going to see this, most likely, because um, you probably haven't created this field yet. So what you'll do is you're just going to go to Create a New Field, and you would type in how did you hear about us? Now what I'm going to do since I already have that in, I'm going to come up with another um, function that I don't have. Maybe, um, you know, how often, this is a good one, how often do you read? Okay, don't put any sort of punctuation because it won't save it. Um, it's only looking for um, numerical or alphabetic characters, okay? So what you're going to do is how often do you read? Now you have a couple different options that you can ask. If you want them to just kind of put in, you know, in the text box here, you know, not very often or something like that, you can leave that. But maybe you want to give them some choices. Okay? So let's say um, one to three books per month. That might be one choice. Another choice might be um, five plus books per month. Can't find my little plus sign there. Five plus books per month. Maybe one is I seldom read. Not good, not good. And then maybe the last one is, um, you know, I never read. Okay? 
Now, those are the options that they are going to be able to click on once they click on this, how often do you read? Do you see how easy that is? All right. Okay, now maybe you also want to find out how they heard about you. This is the one that I already created for a different web form that I did. And it's the same thing, okay? What I did is I just typed in how often did you hear about us. I chose the select box here, and then I gave them some choices. So when they click on that, they are going to be able to enter in exactly how they found out about me or about my website or blog or whatever, okay? So... You can also resize this form. This is a little skinny for my liking, so if you want to resize it, you just simply drag it out, make it bigger. Okay? That looks a little bit better. All right, and then you can also delete these little fields if you don't want to. Maybe you don't want people to know that you're using Aweber, so you're just going to delete that. You can really just change this thing up however you want to do it. Like I said, you can change the color, the font, all of that good stuff. All right, but let's go ahead and move right along. All right, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to, um, Aweber is going to ask you where do you want them to go once they sign up. Oh, this is cool. Let me just show you this real quick. This is enable your Facebook registration form, and when you do that, they're going to automatically change your settings so that it can fit, um, you know, as, as far as um, how, how big they need it to be. So go ahead and enable that, and what that does is that allows people to um, just sign up directly through Facebook and so that's a great way um, to market as well okay now the last thing that you're going to want to do is decide how to publish this form they give you three different options here I will publish my form myself my web designer will install my form or a Weber will host my form I'm going to try to get through these really quickly okay this is what I use probably 90 percent of the time I will install my form myself and what you're going to want to do is they give you the, Java, the JavaScript snippet here, and all you're going to do is simply copy that, take that whole long, you know, HTML code, and you're going to enter that into your blog, website, wherever you want that to go into. It's really, really easy, and, and that form will actually pop right up on your, um, on your uh, website. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Okay, I'm sorry, my computer's running a little bit slow. Let me show you what it's going to look like. Um, you know what? Uh, technical difficulties. All right. This is a web form that I put in a widget that's on my personal blog. Here it is right here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All right. So you can choose to do it that way, or you can choose to um, take the raw HTML version. And what this basically is, is this allows you to upload the form as an embed into your actual site. The form itself won't show up, but the fields will. So it looks like it's just directly embedded into your, um, into your website. Be careful, though. If you don't know a lot about code, you might want to kind of leave this one alone, all right, because it is an advanced, um, an advanced option. Okay, now the next thing that you can do is you can have your web designer install your form. If you don't want to touch code at all, you don't want to know anything about Java snippets or anything like that, JavaScript snippets, sorry. You don't want to know anything about that. You can have the web designer install it, and they'll just simply ask you for the email address to your web designer, and then they'll just enter in, or Aweber will send the web designer um, an email so that they can do that. The last thing that you want to do, um, and I do do this often, as well, um, not as often as just simply uploading the form myself, but you can also have Aweber host your form, okay? And what you'll do is you're just going to take this link here, this is where your form lives, and then you can take this link and either share this link with subscribers directly, or you can set up a domain redirect, all right? When I was doing a webinar, um, How to Make $1,000 Per Day, I had my URL with Make Money what was it? Make 1K per day with Dana dot blog your way to wealth dot com or something like that. And what did I have that going to? This link right here. It wasn't this particular form, obviously, but it was another form that I had created. And so that's another option for you as well. Okay. And once you choose one of those, you are now done. Now you have created a beautiful web form 
Well, you will be able to capture your subscribers' names and their emails, and you can have them directly going into your list. So I hope that this was helpful for you. For more blogging tips, please be sure to visit my website, which is blogyourwaytowealth.com. And also, if this video has helped you, I would sure appreciate you subscribing, commenting, and liking any of my videos on my channel. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See you on the next video.